All right, so this is like my proof of concept here, fully in action. I'm not gonna be using that power supply. I'm gonna try getting like a 600 watt power supply. It's gonna be gutted and it's gonna be put in this hollow out, hold out case here. The monitor's probably gonna run off its own power supply. This, there's gonna be a plastic panel up here that has switches and shit. For example, the monitor's gonna have its own power switch and independent from the computer's power switch and that main switch there would turn on both power supplies. Uh, so basically if I wanted I could use this thing as an external monitor as well. So it's probably gonna be an RCA jack somewhere, maybe there. There's probably gonna be a front, uh, I'm gonna put a front panel thing here and that's also gonna go in a sheet of plastic cut out here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bottom bay. It might just be another sheet of plastic because I don't think I'm fitting a floppy disk in there. Um, I should be able to squeeze the car, uh, this whole computer in here just fine. Right now I'm sitting on the box because I didn't feel like cutting up a sheet of plexiglass, but that graphics card can be angled to fit over here. In fact, the Titan Z would be able to fit over here. I'm going to have it pushed back because I don't actually intend these ports got here. I need to get a shorter one of these thingies. I need to get like one of those six inch VGA cables. Um, uh, let me think here. What else do I need? Uh, that's kind of it. Oh, yeah, and if I can't make shit fit, I got a riser card. So, um, yeah, let's turn this thing on. I gotta hit the power first. Power supply. Oh, and I also plan on buying a 5, 10 watt amp. Or scrapping. I don't really care, I just need the amp. Because there's a PC speaker inside this thing, and I'm actually going to install a second one somewhere. And uh, probably just going to use hot glue or something. I mean, hey, all I gotta do is just have the speaker in it. And just going to have stereo internal sound, which will shut off when you use the front panel. means there's probably going to be a volume knob somewhere on this panel that don't exist yet. Basically all I need is a sheet of plastic that's slightly bigger than this panel to put behind it and drill some holes in it and put switches in it, so. I've also really gotten used to using windows on this. I, I, I honestly, it, it, it takes me back, man. This is like how my first TV was. I really like this. Also, I cannot get the original keyboard to work. If I hook it up and use the adapter, uh, basically if I press like these keys, it'll like start typing like dollar sign, capital G, and random shit like that. Uh, but, I don't know. <sighs> I'll have to look into that later, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use the original keyboard, which will suck. Hey, I got a high contrast seam for the low. And I play almost all games with this controller, and that's not going to change, so... Yeah, let's let some stuff boot up. Nah, yeah, oh. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a classic theme person. I had the Windows 6.1 kernel in here for a little bit, and then I remembered how much I hated it, and I wiped it out, went back to 6.0. Fuck, I cannot... I mean, it, it, uh, seven based operating system and above, like even control panel, like they, they managed to screw up control panel. You can't control the view types of control panel. They force it on like tiles or some, something like that. Not just like normal icon, so. Which uh, really sucks when you're on a compact view. Also, this GPU is a GTX 480. I got on eBay, it was dead. I got it for 20 bucks. I refloated it and it's not going in here because I'm giving it to my dad. He wants to play some game, and the minimum requirements is a GTX 480, and he currently has a GT 630. And he still thinks he's getting a downgrade, because this card has less video memory, and he thinks that video memory is anything to a graphics card. Also, you might have noticed I've made the signal a hell of a lot cleaner since last time. I don't know if I said I was going to do this, but I've got my converter box here, and I'm taking the S-video signal, and I'm taking the uh, Luma out of it, uh, cause, uh, um, blah. NTSC loses quality to put in the color, so if you don't have the color, you get a clear image. And I took the Luma, and then I set the saturation all the way down so the colors wouldn't show up as black. So now the colors show up as gray. Luckily, this box is built in settings, so I didn't even have to do it through the NVIDIA control panel. Alright, I probably should turn the sound up in here. Man.
And that's uh, some speakers over there. I don't actually have internal. That that just that's just greatness right there. That I don't I just feel, I love that. It's so great. Really, really brings some nostalgia back. Using a computer like this, this is just how a PC is meant to be used. I love this. I should totally start customizing cars on this display. Oh, they'll look weird because I have no idea what color I'm doing. One hand driving is best driving. No brake, all gas. I hate you, Lester. Can't have a boot up without a shutdown. I'm shutting down for farts. <sighs> Damn, it's off. 